they're supposed to be doing. Now it's just getting in the rhythm and taking advantage of these days. Your first look at a guy like uh, Bull, the range of outcomes that, that that guy's career might, might look like. What are, what are your first impressions? It's a freak, freak, just a, a freak. I don't know. It's hard to really describe Bull. Like he is seven foot three, he moves like a guard. He can shoot threes. He's light on his feet. Like. It's, it's hard. Nobody's ever seen anybody play like this. So, uh. I remember seeing Bol Bol's first game back in the bubble, and he absolutely looked like a freak of nature. Blocking shots out of nowhere, shooting threes, running the lane, converting dunks, you name it. He, I mean, he looked completely unstoppable. And everyone was hyped about it. I mean, I sure was. Even in the broadcast of TNT Tuesdays, Shaq and Dwayne Wade spoke so highly of him. Let's take a listen. Yeah, but I want an apology from all you guys. For what? Because at the beginning of the year, they asked me who I would start a team with. with. I said, Bo, Bo. And all you guys yes. laughed at me. All you guys Don't laugh at, at me. me. I'm Never picking for Rookie of the Year. I'm a Bo, Bo. Bo. I'm on a bandwagon. Yeah, Bo, Bo. I'm on a Bo, Bo bandwagon. When I said, Bo, Bo, he's like, no, oh, come on. So obviously, Shaq was exaggerating, like he always does. But just judging by that first game that we all watched, you'd think that Bo, Bo was really something special. So Bol Bol's been in the NBA for about three seasons now, and in that time frame, he's always been a bench warmer. He was never really given the minutes back in Denver, but I do think he has a great shot at bouncing back this season with the Magic. I mean, the Magic I've been rebuilding since forever, and this season will be no different in my opinion. But with that being said, I do think Bol Bol will surely be given more leeway in Orlando than he ever had in Denver. I mean, let's face it, Denver was a perennial playoff team. So they played more meaningful minutes, and Bol Bol will never really get his shot. But in Orlando, they will let all the young guys get their minutes there for sure. And I do think Bol Bol will be part of that. Going back to Terrence Ross's interview though, he also added, he, it's Once he finds his niche and what he's good at and what's he, you know, his groove that he's, he finds and he's going to be good with it, he'll turn to be a good player. I do agree with his take on this one. Once Bol Bol finds the areas that he's actually good at, and he actually focuses on those, he will be a great NBA player. He doesn't have to be that all-around superstar, and no one really expects him to be that one at this stage in his career. But he still has the potential and the physical gifts to become an effective player in the NBA. As mentioned in the interview, Terrence Ross also added, Nobody's ever seen anybody play like this. In the article by Bleacher Report, they also had this to say about Bol Bol. Entering the 22-23 campaign, Ball is fully healthy, and it appears he's making a solid impression on his Orlando teammates in training camp. So to sum it all up, Ball Ball still has a chance, but I do think this is his last chance to prove his worth in the NBA. He has all the physical tools to succeed. He has shown flashes in the past, and I am really rooting for the guy. With all things considered, I really believe that Ball Ball can still make it in the NBA.